their work complete, are headed back to the lab. Testing. One, two, three. Diane, it's 428 a.m. You should have something for us, So, last week has been full of all medical treatments, running into the hospital to take care of my skin and all those things. But still, it is not okay. It is still growing. But I am okay. I am not going to bother about it much. So, I thought of concentrating on other things. And I thought of, like, I did the root cause analysis to find what triggered these much of things in my house and all those things. And... If you watch my last video, you will really understand what I am talking about now. But that's fine. Let me give a heads up. So, something wrong went with my went wrong in my skin, and I happened to get into a hospital and all those kind of things. But this is the deal. Small is not really small. It's big. Bed bugs. Bed bugs are killers. So, this is the problem. So, what happened was the apartment community guys did a quick inspection of the house and they found that there is a bunch of bed bugs in my home and I had a and I had a new room in my house some three months ago and that is where all the problems started all the problems so this being said the apartment community guys told that they will do a quick cleanup of the house and they will do the pest control services and all those kind of things in my house they did a great job actually so they also suggested me that I should be clearing up all the furnitures in my house so I'm just thinking to throw them all and get a new set of things so that like I can be comfortable and I can concentrate on my vlog instead of thinking how to kill the bed bugs. It's really tough, you cannot kill a bed bug so easily, you know. Small is always big. So this bed which we are seeing here is going to go outside now and no, I'm just talking in the phone, don't worry about it. I thought the bed is so heavy, but it is not heavy at all. This just has light. So, bed out, bed bug, fancy, very fancy. So, last week I went out their furniture store, got a new couch for me, and that's it. No more bed bugs. I think I should talk about this. The apartment that I live in is constantly updating something in their place. Either they do something like install a new equipment in the gym or pull out their mailbox and they install a whole new mailbox system. So as you all know the last week was an Amazon Prime Day and as usual I did a big purchase. It's big. Trust me it is big. Even a dollar is big. So, as I got all the Amazon deliveries delivered to the mail room, I was so anxious to check out my things, what what, what all I have got. So and I I went to the pickup room. So that is where basically all the things comes up. And to my surprise, I found a new thing there. Not the one that I ordered, the thing that they have installed. So this is how it works. So they give me a code. You just go to the room and enter the code there and the mailbox opens automatically top and you get your parcel that's how it works check out this video
there is no human here except me for this automation I was about to finish the editing for this week and upload the video so meanwhile I was, I was in the final, final finishing touch and and that is when I noted that the shirt that I was wearing for all the videos of this week it was like all grains over the shirt the, the shirt has like very very close lines in it which I did not notice until I was about to upload and it, it is looking like all zebra thing the zebra effect on the video you know like it's all grainy but anyways it is already late it's, it's Saturday noon and I cannot keep up with the schedule if at all I'm doing the whole video again so nothing much I'm just going to upload it again and this is how yeah this is how frustration takes up over you when you're about to complete something and you want to keep up your schedule but still something goes wrong still learning will be there soon